Okay, welcome back AutoCAD students and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom toolbar and add it to your workspace. So let's go to the command line and type CUI. Okay, and that brings us back here to the customize user interface. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down here to toolbars and I'm going to hit the plus sign and just open that up a little bit to see all the toolbars that are available. Okay, um, I'm going to right click on that word toolbar and I'm going to pick new toolbar and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it CJD toolbar dash one. Okay, now what I can do is I can come down here to this command list and I can add any of these commands to my toolbar. I can do that by scrolling to look for commands, which they start numerically and go in alphabetical order. Or if I know of a certain command I want, like I want the select commands, I can actually type in the word and it finds all the commands that have that word in it. So here we have select all, which I want to add to my toolbar. Okay, I also want to add select previous. That's a good one. Uh, and I'm going to add select remove. Okay. Now if it doesn't go, you can always right click and do a copy, come up to here and do a paste, and it will paste it into the toolbar if you find that dragging uh, doesn't work as well. You can also reorder these by moving them around. Okay, so here's my toolbar with my three commands on it. Here's a toolbar preview over here on the um, right hand side to see what the toolbar is going to look like. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the other thing is I want to make sure that my any other toolbars uh, that AutoCAD gave me that I want to show up uh, will show up on my workspace. So I'm going to come back up here to CJD Workspace and I'm going to click on Customize and I'm going to take a look at the toolbars that are in my workspace. And I'm noticing here it's only showing the one that I had created. So while this is blue and in Customize mode, I can come over here to the left and I'm going to check box Dimension and I'm going to check box Object Snap. And notice over here on the right it adds the toolbars to the workspace. So I'm going to pick Apply, and I'm going to pick OK, and here it's added the toolbars. It's docked a couple of them for me, and here's my new toolbar right here, okay, with my Select All, Select Previous, and my Select Remove command that I like. So I'm just going to dock that up here, and there you have it. That's how you add your own toolbar. Okay, I hope that helps and I hope you can make a few toolbars of commands that you use the most often and you can dock them on your screen. It's an easy way to customize.